Hey guys, up for sale is a beautiful princess cut, 1.24 carat diamond ring. This ring will make your fiancé's friends go ape shit. Oh, how small and crappy their Walmart engagement ring looks compared to this one. I paid $5,500 for it. I only want $3,900. Or I'll trade for something of equal value I can use to pick up hot chicks. No rusty Camaro, seriously. This ring comes with a warning. It will make your life great at first. You'll get a lot more sex and maybe some of that porn style sex you've been waiting to try but didn't know how to ask. Once you move in with the ring, it will turn into a total, heartless, self-loving, uncaring bitch. You'll be blamed for it, but it won't be your fault. You'll make it breakfast in bed and keep the lawn mowed. The ring will be laying in bed bitching because the lawn mow is too loud. You'll take the ring on nice vacations. We'll dress up in a hot miniskirt and those tall boots, eat great food and drink lots of expensive drinks, but at the end of the night, the ring will have a headache. The ring will also begin to have a period three weeks a month. I know, I don't get it either, but it's true. You will build the ring, a half million dollar house complete with a bar and home theater. The ring will wait till you are gone, then throw a party for a bunch of other rings that come over and spill wine on your shit. <laughs> the ring will make you late for everything, staring its aging old ass in the mirror. Just when you are beat down and have no self-confidence, the ring will stay out late with someone else's ring. They will talk about how shitty they have it, living in a nice home with a caring, responsible, sexless partner, then laugh and touch each other's junk. Email me if you would like this ring to be a part of your life. I would like it out of mine. It comes with both a yellow gold or white gold band. Oh yeah, it's indecisive. Good luck and best wishes. P.S. I don't want to trade for anything. I could use the cash to get a hooker. A really good hooker. If I can't go through with the hooker thing, I might use it to buy some self-respect. Don't they sell that at Costco? Maybe Kirkland brand self-respect. I'll stick with the hooker. I would trade for a Harley, though. I think chicks like Harleys, or a GTO. Not one of those new crappy looking GTOs, the old ones. The ones that were made when Satan was born a woman. Key words. Bitch. Diamond engagement ring. Misery. Princess cut. Princess wife. Wedding. Glad I didn't buy her fake tits. White gold. Cheetah. Yellow gold. Update. Thanks for the feedback. Yes, that is real, and yes, I would like to sell this thing. I would consider a discount to someone willing to hook up with it for a short period of time. What I'm getting at is I left some stuff at the house I would kind of like back. A cordless drill battery. Those things aren't cheap. A really comfortable lawn chair. My DVD collection consists of the Band of Brothers and Rick Steves Europe. Yeah, he's a pothead. And a grease gun. I know it isn't much. But if you were to see her for maybe a month, tops, you could grab the stuff a little at a time. I don't care if you sit in my home theater chair without pants. I just don't want to hear about it. Make sure she pays every other time you take her out. Tell her if you got your wallet or something. Maybe you're paying for some surgery for your cat. Tell her she's pretty whether you mean it or not. You know what to do. For you guys out there in love who can't seem to pull the trigger, I get it. You were up late last night watching Indiana Jones and Crystal Skull thinking this thing has some bad juju that a whip and a kick-ass hat can't fix. This glittery one land has less of a bad thing going on than eating sushi from a gas station reach-in cooler. If it makes you feel better, I'll go halfsies on a priest with exorcism experience or a gypsy woman with some magic dust. Call me.